How to crochet the hound's tooth stitch, left-handed. For this stitch, you will need a crochet hook. Special thanks to our sponsor, Scassell, for providing today's hooks. Today, we are using their Addy Swing Ergonomic Crochet Hooks in the size USF. Special thanks to our sponsor, Lion Brand, for providing today's yarn, who are introducing their Bon Bon line, a collection of mini skeins of yarn that are perfect for your everyday craft needs and different types of color work. Today we are using yarn from their pastel colorway. For this stitch you will need to know the following techniques. Chain stitch, single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet. To begin this stitch you must create a foundation chain in multiples of four. Row one, beginning with our color A, we're going to do a single crochet into the second chain from our hook. And this will begin our repeat. Next, we're going to do a half double crochet into the next chain stitch. So we'll yarn over, insert our hook, pull through once, yarn over, and pull through all three. Okay, then we are going to do a double crochet into the next chain. And this is going to finish the first point for our hound's tooth. Then we're going to skip the next three chains. So one, two, three. And we're going to single crochet into the next chain. Okay, so right into this stitch. Okay, then we're going to chain four. And we're going to continue this process, repeating this process, all the way to the end of our row. But we're going to finish with the single crochet. We won't do the chain four at the end. Row two. We're going to add our second color, or what we're going to call color B. And we're going to do that by taking our tail and we're going to draw it through the loop that's on our hook right now. And then we're just going to tighten down that hook, that loop really, really tight. And this new loop will take its place. So then we're going to chain four. So we're going to chain one. And we want to uh, carry our other yarn up this chain. So we're going to do that by laying it over the working yarn for our color B. So you can see how it's laying over. So we're working it into, almost into the chain. We're not chaining with it, we're just working it into the back of that chain just like that. And we'll do it again. Okay, so that should give us one, two, two chains. So we'll work this through again and chain again. And we'll do it once more, and that will make four chains. Okay. And we've carried up our yarn along that chain there. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do one double crochet into the next double crochet. So here is our double crochet from the row before. 
and we're going to double crochet into that. So we'll yarn over and work our double crochet Okay, then we are going to do a half double crochet into the next half double crochet. And we'll pull through all three, and then we'll do a single crochet into the next single crochet. So they're almost mirroring each other. All right, now we're going to do a triple crochet into the next single crochet. So here's our single crochet down here. We're going to wrap the yarn twice around our hook and we'll go into the single crochet. Okay, and we work off in twos. Okay, and that's gonna finish our repeat. So we're going to repeat the doing the mirrored double crochet, half double crochet, single crochet until we reach the end of our row. Now on our last repeat, we're just going to finish with the single crochet. We won't be doing the triple crochet um, after we do our single crochet. Then we'll turn our work. Row three, continuing with color B, we're going to chain four. Okay, then we're going to do a single crochet into the second chain from our hook. And this is going to start our repeat. Then we're going to do a half double crochet into the next chain. And then a double crochet into the chain after that. Okay, then we are going to do skip the next three stitches. So we've got one, two, three here. And we will do a single crochet into the next stitch. Okay, and that's going to pull our point up. All right, now we're going to chain four. And then we'll repeat that sequence all the way across. So when we finish our last repeat here, we're just going to end with the single crochet into the turn chain from the row before. We won't be doing an additional chain four on this round. So then we're going to turn our work. And we're going to repeat rows two and three until we've reached our desired length. And we're going to alternate uh, every two rows um, by changing the color. So this next repeat of two and three, we will be doing with color A. And that's how you crochet the houndstooth stitch. After a few repeats, your pattern should look like this. Want more New Stitch Day? Check out our website at newstitchaday.com.